this video, we will show you how to log analog input data from a 4 to 20 milliamp input signal. If you are using a voltage input, the steps are very similar and you can configure your module for voltage input instead of current input. You will need a 10 to 30 VDC power supply to connect to the ET7026 module to the VS and ground terminals through the module's terminal block. You will also need a standard Ethernet cable to either connect directly to your PC's Ethernet port or to your switcher router. The configuration should look similar to the picture at the bottom. Install Mini OS 7 Utility on your PC. Open Mini OS 7 Utility to search or click on search as shown. Mini OS 7 Utility will find the ET7026 module and any other ICP DAS Ethernet device on your network. Click on the found module and then click on IP setting. Enter your IP address, subnet mask, and gateway in the box and click on setting to save these settings. Execute another search in Mini OS 7 Utility to verify that your settings were saved. Now open a standard web browser like Internet Explorer and type the following IP address in the address bar and press enter. A login box will appear asking for a username and password. In the box enter the word admin with a capital A for both. The end result should be a screen like this. On the left side click on the plus sign next to the word configuration and click on module I.O. configuration. Scroll down to the AI configuration basic settings and change your AI type to the desired range for your application. In this example, we will show you how to use 4 to 20 milliamp inputs for channels 0 and 1. We also need to make sure the radio button to the right side is set to enable. We will scroll down a little bit and click the radio button next to engineering units for data format. Directly below this, we will click on the submit button. There are several submit buttons. Only click on the one below the group of settings that you want saved. You need to click on several submit buttons if you want to change multiple settings. On the left panel, we click on the plus sign next to Web HMI. Then we click on Web HMI directly below it. We click on the AI tab. Connect your sensor to the module and be sure to follow the manual for any jumper settings that may be required. In this window, we are able to verify that our sensor is reading properly. If you do not see the values change in this window as they should, please check your wiring, input terminal, jumper settings, and configuration from step 3. You can also use the other tabs to verify your other input devices are reading properly and you can use the AO and DO tabs to test your output devices to turn on or put out the correct values as they should. Once you have verified all of your sensor devices are connected properly and reading properly in the web HMI, we are done configuring our module through the web server.